All right, so for this video, we're going to talk about how to connect um, two near sports devices to collect hyperscanning data. So hyperscanning just means that you're going to collect neural activity simultaneously. So what we are going to do is take two devices and we'll have two participants and they're, they're going to be collecting NIRS data on the same time series. So simultaneously, we're going to collect FNIRS data on two participants, but what's really cool about these NIRSport 2 devices, you can have uh, as up to many devices as you have, or as many people as you have, as long as you have the devices for it, you can synchronize all of that data to collect hyperscanning data. So again, this just means um, comparing brain activity between two people or more than two people. Okay, so to do this, we have in our lab two sets of eight by eight fibers and we have two near sport two machines. So what that means is we the fibers itself, that means we have eight sources and eight detectors on each set of fibers. So I'm holding one set of fibers here and there's another on that wall. So each of the fibers will be plugged into a separate device. And again, these will be these caps will be placed on two different people's heads, but their data is going to be collected at the same time. So the materials you need for um, starting a hyperscanning data collection is, again, the two devices, um, two sets of cables, and then you'll need an access point. Um, so Near X recommends the best way to connect devices wirelessly is by connecting them to an access point. They can connect to the internet or a hotspot or other ways, but the most reliable way is an access point. And we will include a document with a shopping list of materials that we bought um, that didn't include, that wasn't included in the package of Near X. So one of those things was a um, access point. So we'll have a link to ours. Our access point is a router right here. So the first thing we're going to do to get started with connecting our two devices to collect hyperscanning data is plug in our router into a wall nearby the data collection area. And so once we do that, um, we can go and connect our devices. All right. So now um, we are ready to connect our two near sport two devices in order to collect data simultaneously with two participants. Um, and this is called hyperscanning. So to do this, we're not going to collect connect our devices to Aurora or the interface that opens up immediately when you open the Aurora app. When you download the software Aurora to your computer, it also downloads another app called hyperscan. Um, and so when you open up that app that downloads, it looks like this. And so what this um, interface is for is simply to just synchronize the time series between the two your sport two devices so they're collecting data simultaneously before we connect our devices we have to prepare for a connection so um, when we're connecting devices near x um, recommends that you use an access point to connect devices wirelessly so we just bought a router um, to connect to and again we have a shopping list on our website for all of the equipment that we have bought that didn't come with our Nearx package. I am going to plug in my access point in the wall back here first. And so once I have done that, I'm going to make sure that my access point is broadcasting to my network and internet settings. And I'm going to hold off on turning on my Nearsport 2 devices until I confirm that my access point is connected to the computer. Because if we turn on the Nearsport 2 devices before our access point is connected to the computer, they can broadcast their own network, which will then make it difficult to um, have them both connect to the access point and then have them connect to the hyperscan app and then to Aurora. Okay, so I have plugged in my access point. I'm going to just check on my network and internet settings that it's broadcasted. Um, and since it's an access point, it should say no internet just secured. Okay, so DenLab has connected. That's the name of our access point. Um, and it has automatically, we've put the setting on so it automatically connects. So now I have the OK and I'm in the clear to connect and turn on my Nearsport 2 devices. So I'm just going to hold down the power button in both machines until it turns blue and then it will turn green. Always check um, before you start data collection that you have enough battery in both. So to check for battery, you can just um, gently um, and quickly press the on button and then the battery charge will light up on the corner of the machine so that one is charged and they're both 
completely charged, so we're all ready for data collection. So now that I have my Nearsport 2 devices turned on and we have confirmed that the access point is connected to the computer, we can look at our um, Hyperscan app. So it is a little bit different. It's not going to be as simple as refreshing your screen to see the machines pop up. We're going to want to click on our um, add button and you're going to put in the subject ID. So we usually do, I'm just going to do test one for subject one. And then you could put the age, gender of the participant. Um, and then you can refresh your here until you have uh, devices to choose from to connect to. So under the device ID. So it looks like we have both devices popped up. So you can always decide if you're doing a parent-child experiment, how, which is what we do in our lab. We always have um, childs, the children always connect to the same device ID. And we always have parents connect to the same device ID. So we also always just label, put labels on our devices so we can keep this straight and keep it consistent. So I'm going to call test one, or I'm just going to call test one and call it parent. And so I'm going to connect the parent to ID, so the one that ends in 86. And then I can choose my configuration. Um, so the configurations you have to choose from are all the ones that are already uploaded into Aurora. So if you need to um, add a new configuration, you can either save it directly from near site and click New configuration on Aurora's app, or you can choose a configuration that you save to your computer from Aurora and just add it to the configuration display. But this, the configurations here will be all of the ones that you have saved um, to Aurora. For the example today, I'm just going to use test two, and then I'm going to hit OK. Our first device that is going to be ready for data collection is here, but we need to add our second device. So now I'm going to do test subject two, and then we're going to pretend this is the child and then you could put the age and gender and any other information you find necessary. And it will, if you only have two devices, um, it will automatically select the other device for you. But if you had more than two devices that you wanted to synchronize um, when data collection, you can choose which device you want. And then I could choose my configuration. In our study, most hyperscanning um, studies will, all participants will have the same configuration. But if you wanted to, the, two, the participants or the people that you're hyperscanning can have different configurations. But for consistency wise, and for our research question, we're going to make sure they both have the same configuration. So I'm going to choose test two for that one as well. At this point, we um, they're both connected, but now we want to synchronize them. So to synchronize them, we want to hit this plug button. So you can hit them singularly, but to do them at the same time, which I would recommend, you could just hit the plug at the top of the screen. So it's the first icon on the left in that toolbar ribbon. And so what this is doing is just initializing them and then preparing them for data collection. So again, Hyperscan app is only for the synchronization process. You will do a single optimization and data recording on Aurora still. So it's just setting the configuration. So now it's ready. So if we want to do the, the optimization, you can hit play on both of these and then it will open up two windows for a signal optimization. So you would repeat the same signal optimization process as you would for a single participant. You would just have two windows to do that on. So I can even open up both of them. Um, and at this point, you would have your eight by eight fiber um, plugged into one device and an eight by eight fiber connected to another device. And your participants would have the cap on. Um, and then you would run your signal optimization at that point. Um, something to note when you're ready for data collection, and we will show this in a, another video, for hyperscanning is um, if you're going to send any triggers or events, make sure that you have the same participants recording window pulled up to the front through the duration of the data um, collection process. This will just make it consistent and then you can copy any events or triggers to the other participant after the fact because their um, data is streamlined on the same time series. Uh, it would it's as simple as copying it over. Okay, so that is how you connect your near sport two devices for hyper scanning. Um, again, you'll do the rest of the process on Aurora. They'll just have two windows open at the same time, but their time series will be synchronized.